Welcome to the Roll and Cut Studio on how to use the drawing tools uh, that appear on the left hand side here. The drawing tools are basically from this square all the way down to this curved line. And with these drawing tools there are several uh, options that we can use to um, draw a square, a circle, hexagon, star, straight points, or curved points. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, choose one of these tools and all you have to do is just place your cursor over the tool left click on the tool to activate it. Once I activate it you'll notice that on my screen my cursor turns into a cross and here uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a square. Now what I need to do is I need to left click hold and drag and you'll notice as I'm dragging I can do a rectangle or I can try and do a square um, and you'll notice that it drags it from the corner that I started at into and I'm dragging it in the opposite direction. So I start in the upper left and drag to the lower right. If I would like it to um, to draw from the center, if I hold my control key down while I am drawing the square, you can see that it's actually using that starting point as a center point. And I can do square, rectangle, or however I'd like to um, draw and um, if I hold the shift key while holding control it will do a proper square and it will size it from the center. So I'm holding shift and control right now. If I let go of both you'll notice that I can do it from the uh, upper left hand corner down to the lower right hand corner. If I would like to do a square using this method if I hold the shift key down on my keyboard uh, it will drag it in to the opposite direction and it will keep it as a perfect square. Once I am finished with my drawing, whichever way I choose to draw it, I will let go of my left click and it will draw that square. I then have my editing nodes uh, or my sizing nodes that I can move around and resize and things like that. Now we're going to move on to the circle tool and you're going to see these commands are pretty much the same with the circle except we're drawing with a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor over the circle icon, left click. Once I left click, that tool is activated because I do have a cross. And what I will do is I will start here, left click hold and drag in an opposite direction. So I start in the upper left hand corner and I'm dragging to the lower right. If I hold shift while dragging, you'll notice that I will get a uh, circle. And you know, conversely, if I if I drag to another corner, an opposite corner, it will drag in that direction. If I hold, I'm going to let go of my shift, and if I hold control, it will size it from the center, or draw it from the center. If I hold shift and control at the same time, it will draw it from the center and also do a perfect circle. Once I am happy with my circle, I let go of my left click. Anytime I want to get out of a tool, I just hit escape on my keyboard and click on the select button. And then I can move it wherever I want on screen. Now let's move on to the hexagon. If I place my cursor over the hexagon, I left click to activate the tool. Again, my cursor turns into a cross. I'll left click hold and drag into an opposite direction from where I started. And if I hold the shift, it will keep it proportionate. If I hold shift and control, it will keep it proportionate and uh, size it or draw it from the center. Or if I just hold control, it will draw it from the center or using my point that I first selected as my center point. Once I am happy with the size and the shape, go ahead and let go of my left click. I'll go ahead and hit the select button and then we'll go ahead and move it here. The last shape that we're going to talk about is going to be the star, so I'll place my cursor over the star, left click to activate, I'll move on top of my, uh, you know, my workspace and I will left click hold and drag. Again the same as the circle, square, and hexagon, I hold my shift key, it will keep everything proportionate, if I hold shift and control it will draw it from the center or use, use my uh, first point as the center point. And then if I just hold control, it will just draw it from the center. And you can see um, as I am moving my cursor around, 
it can control you know that shape of the star so you've got a little bit more um, you know ability to change the actual shape of that star you know using those controls so once I'm done with that uh, shape I go ahead and let go and with the shape there's a couple more options that you can use to uh, change that shape of the star so with those extra options you do see a node here as well as a node here and right now my cursor is across so it means that one of my shapes are activated so if I were to start using my left click um, it would actually start drawing another star because that's what I am selected on so we need to get out of the tool first and to get out of the tool if I just hit the cursor uh, icon left click on that um, I can go over to my star and now place my cursor over one of the two new nodes once I place my cursor over one of those nodes it does turn into a cross and if I left click hold and drag you can see that I'm gonna drag to the left and then I can drag to the right and you can see how that actually changes uh, the shape of my star so you can do some some pretty wild things with it uh, depending upon what you want to do so you're mostly dragging to the right and to the left with this one now you also have another node and with this node once you place your cursor over it it turns into a cross I left click hold and drag and you can see you can also change the shape this way so in um, with these tools you can see that you have some more options to change the actual shape of that star from a star to another shape so you can even you know change it into various polygons once you're finished you can just let go of that left click and if you do um, want to left click off to the side it deselects everything now let's move on to the bottom two uh, tools of the drawing tools and this is where you can draw segments or areas um, with corner points and then also ones with curve points now with both of these tools you can actually interchange between a corner point and a smooth point uh, in that same tool and we'll show you how to do that uh, as soon as we get to it so let's just start a new design so I'll go ahead and click new and um, I'm not going to save this uh, this image or this cut file so I'll go ahead and hit no and we'll go ahead and activate the polyline tool so if I place my cursor over that tool and this is going to be with corner points I left click to select I place my cursor over on top of my workspace and you can see my cursor is now across but it also has a little symbol to the right hand side of it that means we're going to do corner points now I'm gonna start with a left click and once I place my left click you can see that it plots a point and now my cursor is connected as soon as I make another left click you know it makes another anchor point so I can just draw my shape however that shape may be and as I go around I'm just gonna draw you know an arbitrary shape here and now if I want to make sure and go back to um, the first point and and make that complete to go all the way around you'll notice that um, as I place my my end point or my current point that I'm on on top of the first point that node looks um, transparent whereas when I have it over here it's shaded in black or, or gray when I he have it over here that is showing me that it's going to complete that I left click and it actually automatically ends for me if I am doing more of an open shape let's go ahead and activate that polyline tool again and I just you know I'm just doing left clicks here and I want to end the shape right here if I hit the escape button that gets me out of the tool I'm not sure you know if you will actually want to do an open shape because with cutting you know vinyl and things like that you do want to um, you know make sure that it's closed 
so that when you peel away the excess vinyl, you know, you have a full shape left. Now let's move on to the next tool. If I place my cursor over the next tool, it is called a curve. And it's basically the same as uh, the polyline tool, but we are drawing with curves more than straight points here. So if I left click to activate it, place my cursor over my workspace, and we're going to go ahead and scroll up so we can see more of that workspace. I'll go ahead and left click, and as soon as I left click, it does plot a point. I'll make another left click, and you can see that I do have these poly, uh, or these, you know, uh, curve lines coming out, or my curve angles coming out from that node. And um, I'll make another left click, and you can see that I'm now drawing with curved lines. So as, as I make left clicks, um, my curves are going to, to change uh, as I continue to click. So we'll go ahead and kind of do the same thing that we did before. And as I move my cursor over on top of that last point, it kind of turns transparent and I left click. And if you do want to open segment, let's go ahead and activate the curve again. And we'll go ahead and just make left clicks here. And once I, you know, want to finish, let's say, you know, keep this open, I'll press escape to get out of the tool and it will finish. It'll end where I have it ended. Now you can use the curve or the polyline tool and use uh, corner points as well as curve points. And that's just by utilizing your shift key. So let's go ahead and move up and let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and choose the polyline tool. And if I have to make a series of, of corner points as well as a series of curve points on the same segment, what I can do is I'm going to start out with corner points because I am on the polyline tool. I left click, left click, and say my next click needs to be a curve. If I hold that shift key, notice that my little icon or you know my little symbol next to my cursor turns into that curved line icon. So I'm holding shift down and I left click and now you can see that I do have a curve. If I want to go back to a corner, I let go of my shift and you can see that on screen with that little icon right next to my point. I make another left click, you'll see that I've got a corner point. And if I hold shift and I left click, I've got a curve point. Let go and you can see I've got the corner point, but if I want to keep doing curve points, I can hold my shift down and just keep doing them. Now, if I ever want to go back one note at a time, and this is with either the polyline or the curve tool, you can always hit the backspace key on your keyboard and go back one at a time. So, we'll, let's go back to the uh, corner points, I left click, and I'm going to do another corner point, left click, another corner point, left click, and now I want to do a curve point. So I hold the shift key and left click. Now I want a corner point, so let's go ahead and left click, curve point, shift, left click, corner point, left click, and then I want to end it with another corner point right on top of the first point and left click. So once it's finished, it deactivates the tool. Now with the curve, we can do the same thing. So I left click to activate curve, and I'm going to start out with curve points. Left click, left click. Now I want to do a corner point. So I, oh, I accidentally left click, so we'll go ahead and hit the backspace key. I'll hold that uh, shift key down and now you can see that the icon or the um, symbol next to the cursor looks like the corner point or polyline tool. I left click and there is my corner point. Hold my, uh, I don't hold anything down for a curve point because we are on the curve tool and then if I hold shift I can left click. Curve point, hold shift, left click and in here, we'll just, um, you know, go ahead and use a curve point, then shift, 
let go of shift, shift, and you can see that uh, we can utilize these tools uh, kind of in conjunction with each other. So I'll go ahead and left click to end that, press escape to get out of the tool, or click on um, one of my editing, my edit or my select icons. Now let's see how we would actually utilize these tools on an actual image. So we're going to go ahead and start a new design. I'm not going to save this design, so I'll just hit no. And we will import a JPEG. So I'll click on the import button, left click. And in here I am looking in my artwork. I'll go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to find um, this mushroom here. I'll go ahead and press open and once I press open you can see it's rather large. In order to see it I'm just going to hit the fit to screen button. I'll left click on that. Let's change the size here. So in order to change the size we can left click on the properties box here or we can go to object and then properties. And in here I'm going to change the size. We're going to change it to um, 6 inches and it does have keep aspect ratio selected so we'll go ahead and press OK. Let's move that down here and we'll go ahead and click fit and in here this is where I want to you know start drawing. Um, I can utilize my circle tool especially for these pieces right here so I want to draw the basic shape of the mushroom uh, as well as the spots on the mushroom as well as the stem at the bottom so what we will do is we'll go ahead, let's start out with the circles. I left click on this and I'm going to start from the center here or what I think could be the center. I'm going to left click hold and drag and when I do that I need to make sure that I'm holding my control button and um, as I'm holding my control it's sizing it from the center. I'm not directly in the center but we can always change that remember with our uh, moving tools as well as our sizing tools. I think that's about the right size so I let go. I'll go back to my select button and then I can go ahead and move that and if I need to you know change the size I can certainly do that. Again I'll choose my circle ellipse tool. I'll try and uh, do it from the center so I have to hold control and these are not perfect circles so I'm not holding my shift key down. So I will go ahead and then move on to the next one and these next ones are not quite circles so I'm actually going to use a different tool. I'll press the select icon here to get out of that tool and let's go ahead and move that into position here. Let's zoom in and to zoom in I just left click on the zoom in and out button. I'll place my cursor over here, left click hold and drag and drag a box over what I want to zoom in on. This time I'm going to use the uh, polyline tool. And actually, you know what, I think a, the curve tool would actually be a better um, better option for this one because we're drawing more curve points than we will corner points. So I left click on this and I want to start out with a corner point. So I hold my shift button down and I left click. Now what I'll do is I'll let go of my shift. I'll make another left click and I'm going to go ahead and make curve, line, curve points and go around my spot. So I'm just making single left clicks and now when I, went, when I get to the point down here I do want to make another corner point. So I hold my shift key down, left click, and that makes a corner point. I'll do left clicks, left click, I'll actually do a shift here, left click, and then finish that off. Now I can fix that with my editing nodes which will be in an, another tutorial. Let's go ahead and select, hit the select button, left click off to the side and click fit. So you can see that I've started drawing those, um, those spots. I would finish off the other two spots with that curve tool. I would probably use the curve tool also for the, the big uh, top of the mushroom. Let's go ahead and click the zoom in button. We're going to start the top part of the mushroom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the curve tool. I'll left click here. And I'm going to start down here. 
I'll go ahead and I'm going to hold my shift key down, do a corner point, and then do curve point. And I can keep doing curve points. And I'm just left clicking. I am using the curve tool, so I am, um, you know, plotting the curve points without hitting the shift key. So we'll go ahead and just continue doing the left clicks for those curve points. This is a nice, um, you know, curved top, so we're not doing much polyline clicks or corner point clicks. And as you can see, even though I'm zoomed in, um, as I'm moving my mouse, it is um, going and following, um, you know, and, and, and letting me see the, the artwork. I don't have to pan my screen um, the, as I move my cursor. It is, going, it is panning my screen while I'm in that tool. Now I'm going to hold the shift key finish that off with a corner point, left click, and I'm finished. So let's go ahead and hit the select button. I'll left click off to the side. Let's go ahead and hit fit, and you can see I've got the top portion. So I would do that also for, you know, this uh, part of the mushroom. And let's go ahead and use the corner one. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and zoom in over here. And I'm going to use this cut line right here um, I'm not going to replot that because then I would have two lines on top of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the polyline tool. I'm going to start right here, left click. I'm going to hold my shift key and do some curve points. You can see that now I'm doing, I'm holding the shift key down. and as I hold the shift key down it is making my curve points. Don't like that point so I'm going to hit the backspace key, go back to holding my shift key, and remember that if you do make a point and you want to change it later, you can change that later with your editing tools available. Now, if this is one color, I, I do want to keep this open, um, but since it is two color, I actually am going to go ahead, oh, I'm going to hit my backspace key, since it is two color, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off all the way over here. This point, I want that to be a um, corner point, so I let go of my shift key, I left click, and then now I'm going to hold shift again. I'll let go of my shift key. I'm going to make this a corner point and finish it off. Left click and now it's a finished piece. So you can see that with the polyline as well as the curve you can use those functions together. Now if we do want to edit and um, cut these in separate pieces um, that's kind of more in our editing video. So watch the rest of our videos and uh, thanks for watching this one.